Hi, it's Abon1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Legacy version on Xbox. And I have fought a lot of 1v1s now in my Canon Vet. Uh, the ship that was built as a joke to see if I could get a ship over 3,000 tons with 9,000 shields has actually done me quite well in a lot of 1v1 situations. Though it isn't an ideal build, and it certainly wasn't one I expected to have this many fights in because, you know, I built it as a joke ship, uh, something to sit in, like Desia, above people shooting into the planet, or doing silly stuff like shooting Scooby at people. I didn't expect it to be a ship that I would regularly take on people in 1v1s in. I mean, I have never really been much for big ship combat over the years. Uh, it's not like I've shied away from it, it's just I've never bothered building big ships that could do combat. Um, currently I have two big ships that do combat, which is my uh, Anaconda with Franks and this thing with cannons. And both of them suffer from the same problem, which is ammo supply. Ammo supply is a thing that will always be a problem. With cannon vets they do a really good DPS, they're really impressively powerful, but the ammo supply is an issue, you have to reload and be able to reload regularly to be able to actually get through an entire fight. Uh, this is something I've always struggled with. Though I do love it when people try and go past me and I do that to them and send them flying backwards. There's a couple of moments like that in this video that I really really enjoyed and put a smile on my face. It's something that's just, I don't know, it's just really fun watching the other person bounce around all over the place. Um, it has more effect when I'm fighting against someone with fixed weaponry obviously. Here I'm fighting against Epic Knight who's using a gimbaled uh, beam laser, a multi-cannon build, um, which, you know, doesn't suffer with the ammo issues, but has its own issues with, you know, less power to shields uh, regularly if you want to keep the rate of fire up. You can't really camp those shields, uh, those pips to shields that, you know, I can in my cannon fair. Because one of the things about cannons, a very low power draw, which is highly attractive to someone like me who wants to sit on four pips to shields with my ridiculously strong shields. However, my shields are ridiculously lacking in thermal resistance. So that is a bit of an issue. Uh, it's got to be said when you're fighting against someone with beam lasers. Um, yeah, generally, I mean, this this vet was never built to do 1v1s. I've never beaten Scooby in it, and um, I very rarely beat um, anyone in like a proper multi-cannon vet or anything. Anything with any sort of thermal damage will wreck me. It, Ironically, is an amazing counter build for people who use plasma vets, but that's just hilarious. Um, you know, it's not. It wasn't built for that. It's built for just fun in wing fights and shooting people at people and doing silly stuff. Uh, but you know me. If someone challenges me to one one v one, I'm happy to be target practice as people want to improve and get better at you know core vet fights and fighting in general. Um, you know, I'm not a particularly good combat pilot, but you know. Um, I can give most people a decent 1v1 that lasts a while. Um, you know, I've, I can, I'll quite happily fight anyone and get slaughtered. I fought Jordo Man with a stupid, uh, ridiculous anaconda that I had absolutely no chance against because it was a fun fight, and it was just fun winding Jordo up, um, hitting him, and throwing his aim off with the four shell cannons. I, you know, I know I'm on a hiding to nothing when I fight a full-on PvP big ship guy or someone who, you know built a solidly built vet uh, my ship's not gonna hold up to it but I'm gonna get a smile on my face every time I watch them pirouette away uh, from the four shell cannons because it is just funny um, that's why I built this ship and my anaconda my anaconda could be a decent 1v1 ship but for that I would put more armor on it take the fuel scoop off put another shield booster on there uh, at the moment the way it's set up is actually a lot of fun uh, it's for hunting people down and chasing people and um, I enjoy using the uh, you know the wake scanner to go after people and that and generally when I'm in a wing fight you know it works really really well in a grouping um, especially when you've got me and Al both in our frag condors the amount of DPS those two things put out when they're together is hilarious and just stomps a lot of people very quickly but I mean, anyone who's watched my channel for a long time knows I'm not a particularly good combat pilot and I'm certainly not a guy that, you know, is fighting constantly in 1v1s. I'm a space pirate. You know, I'll happily take on the challenge and happily fight people for a bit of a giggle and a bit of fun. And, um, yeah, I'm not particularly worried about my skills in combat. Um, 
I'm always happy to accept the challenge, always happy to give it a go. Uh, I really, if I had more prismatic shields at my disposal, I probably would build a better Corvette for 1v1s. Uh, something with multi cannons or something, you know, that's more sensible um, and can actually has enough ammo to win a 1v1 <laughs> would be probably a good idea. But yeah, um, I would certainly build something more orthodox with a, you know, drag frag and um, one long range pulse laser, uh, you know, and something that's a bit more sensible and actually can compete in these 1v1s with players but you know the cannon vet suits me in the way that i'm not orthodox the ships i build are silly and um i have a lot of fun fighting people and um you know i win some i lose some i always have a smile on my face whenever i have a fight in this game i'm not one that cares about how many times i die i'm not that worried about how good i am at pvp as long as I'm not being speedrun and I'm just having a giggle, I really enjoy myself. And uh, I've got to say, yeah, this was a pretty long fight. Very close, back and forth. Uh, it's uh, kind of a mismatch of ship builds because obviously you've got the gimbaled uh, lasers which aren't usually that effective, but then I'm, I am have no thermal resistance, so you know I'm handing them a big damage buff. So an interesting one quite a balanced fight um two ships that are quite clearly evenly matched uh though I, I obviously burst damage and do a lot more dps but he's more consistent and uh just can you know will will me down eventually and also cheekily he's got really really good kinetic resistance on his hull which um comes in clutch for him i feel in this one but it, overall it was a good long fight a bit of back and forth you couldn't really tell who was going to win. And um, yeah, if you want to stick around and watch the whole fight, I have put the whole fight up. Um, yeah, and you can see who wins and uh, watch the whole fight. Me personally, I'm going to call it quits for me talking there and say that's all. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And enjoy if you want to watch the whole fight.